Hi there. Um, it's time for another Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. video. Um, last week's episode was called Ragtag. Uh, before I get into that, I just wanted to say two things. Number one, uh, normally I'm not sure whether or not there's a new episode or a repeat on in a given week. However, this Tuesday is not only a new episode, but it is the season finale. So it's wrapping up the season until next fall. Um, and there will be another season, of course, and I've also just learned that um, there's going to be another Marvel series starting next fall, I think, uh, which is uh, Agents of Carter, uh, the Haley Atwell character from um, uh, the Captain America movies. Uh, she's going to have her own series, and I guess it's going to take place like in the 40s, um, or late 40s, early 50s, something like that, with her being an English secret agent. Um, I'm not really sure what that all that's going to have to do with the rest of... Uh, um, the, um, the, the, the Marvel Universe, but of course we do know that Hydra got involved with uh, S.H.I.E.L.D. fairly early, um, and Peggy Carter was one of the people to start S.H.I.E.L.D., um, so presumably the series will delve into that, as lo along with you know, whatever you know, uh, physical daring do uh, has to be uh, accomplished uh, on a weekly basis in the series. I don't know, I think that uh, um, the origins of S.H.I.E.L.D. and Hydra's uh, secret infiltration into it uh, is probably uh, a good idea. Um, that would be cool. Um, and I'll be uh, not, I'm not 100% certain that I'm going to be watching that show, probably, I mean it's, it's likely. Um, but uh, I am, of course, going to be keeping up with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. next year. Whether or not I'm going to do a video on every single episode like I have this last year, I'm not sure yet. Um, but, um, yeah, I, I, I definitely want to uh, get things wrapped up here. Now, before uh, getting into Ragtag, this uh, last week's episode, I want to just mention that there's going to be big spoilers here. If you haven't seen the episode uh, and plan to, please don't watch this, um, because I'm going to be talking in detail about some of the stuff that happened. Um, so this is sort of a... Garrett Ward origin story episode. Um, there was a lot of flashbacks of him um, being pulled out of juvie by Garrett um, back in the day and uh, uh, yeah, him basically being put through the ringer by him so that he could uh, uh, hone his survival skills. Um, but we learned that Ward, Ward uh, while an agent of Hydra and of course a murderer, um, isn't entirely without compassion because he lets the dog live. <laughs> After months of living outdoors, years actually, years of just living outdoors uh, and, uh, and, and making your way by whatever ingenuity you possess and materials are on hand, Garrett says, okay, you've been accepted in the S.H.I.E.L.D. Academy, you know, but of course you're actually going to be working for HYDRA and for me. Um, and it's important not to get close to anybody, it's important not to be weak, so before we get out of here, why don't you go shoot this dog? <laughs> this dog that's been uh, keeping you company for like the last, I don't know, five years or something like that. He's just like, really? It's like, yeah, man, you know, you're not weak, are you? Take care of that dog. He's not a person after all. <laughs> so Ward takes the dog out into the wilderness where Garrett can't see and fires the gun in the air and sends the dog scurrying off. Can't kill the dog. And this, of course, is intercut with him um, about to do away with a Simmons and Fitz on Garrett's orders. Um, Garrett, uh, excuse me, Fitz and Simmons manage to uh, lock themselves into a compartment. Supposedly it's bulletproof, so Ward can't get to him. Instead, he just ejects the thing. Um, but, of course, uh, we saw in a previous scene that Fitz has one of those little homing beacon quarters. <laughs> it's also a walkie-talkie, so presumably he's going to be able to contact um, Coulson uh, and the other guys uh, and uh, help them out, even though they've been dumped in the middle of the ocean. Uh, but uh, that's going to take Coulson a while, apparently, because he and Sky and May and Triplet are all uh, in Cuba um, discovering the um, secret Hydra base that's below the barbershop. Of course, at the end of the episode, they're surrounded by centipede soldiers, um, so that's going to take some doing to get them out of that. Real cliffhanger episode here. Uh, real big cliffhanger. Um, there was this sequence involving the break-in uh, at Cybertech in which... Uh, Colson and uh, May impersonate uh, technicians, and they basically have the uh, the um, what they're supposed to be saying being fed into their ears by uh, Fitz and May, or in the van outside. Um, and so they're basically doing Fitz and uh, Simmons' routine for them, talking over each other and things like that. That was kind of amusing, although a little bit silly. You know, it's nice to have comic relief every once in a while, but I think it's better when it comes in the form of a line rather than, you know, silliness involving dumping an entire cabinet full of files out of a window and then rappelling down. Um, by the way, Triplet fires a harpoon 
uh, to allow them to slide the safety into the ceiling tile of the office. Now those things are basically like styrofoam. There's no way that it could hold any weight at all. So that was a little sloppy on the part of the people that made the uh, episode. Um, one of my, my favorite line probably is uh, the one where um, they break out all the old uh, Howling Commando uh, gear uh, that Trip brought along and, um, uh, and they say, oh yeah, we'll really have an advantage over them. Check out this cigarette that shoots a laser and Fitz accidentally sets the curtains on fire and May says, watch out Hydra, here we come. That was pretty cool. Um, um, when Garrett brings... Uh, uh, oh, oh yeah, of course, we've got uh, the uh, teaser at the end of the episode where you've got Ian Quinn talking with some military head honchos about um, opening up a base uh, to develop the super soldiers uh, here in the States for use by the military. Um, now that uh, S.H.I.E.L.D. is no longer uh, all well and good with the military, the Quinn isn't the fugitive that he uh, once was. Um, you know, he was, uh, he was on S.H.I.E.L.D.'s radar in a bad way, as Romanoff would put it. Um, but... Uh, but, uh, but yeah, apparently now that S.H.I.E.L.D. has fallen out of favor and uh, they're all being hunted down, you know, the, uh, the feds and Congress and all those guys, they're A-OK -okay with Quinn. So he's there uh, trying to uh, make that happen. Um, but when, they, uh, when Garrett and uh, Ward arrive back at the barber shop again <laughs> and sits down in the chair, uh, Garrett says to the barber, he says, let's show him what handsome really looks like. <laughs> Once again, I really like uh, Bill Paxson a lot, um, you know, in this episode. He has a lot of the best lines, as did uh, Maria Hill in the previous episode. Um, of course, his, um, uh, what they discover about him is that he was the original Deathlock because of the uh, implement all the uh, uh, artificial components in his side. He tells a little story about being blown to pieces and having to stuff all his intestines back into his uh, guts and duct tape himself and make it to safety. And so that's basically keeping him alive. But uh, his organs are failing. The uh, artificial whatever it is isn't uh, working out as well as it once did. Um, so he uh, asks um, Reyna to inject the um, substitute G325 uh, regenerative uh, properties uh, in directly into a system, and apparently this works just fine. Uh, it seems to be uh, uh, better than ever at the end of the episode. Um, there is um, another um, thing with uh, with uh, Ward, and the way that he lies to Garrett about um, Reyna talking about Sky with him. Um, Reyna discovers uh, that Sky's DNA is unusual, and she thinks that um, the uh, the reason why she's in 808, I think that's what it's called. I forget an unknown, an unknown quantity or something like that. It's not because she was actually being hunted uh, and trying to being abducted by um, some otherworldly non-human creatures, but she's actually the spawn of creatures. And this happened in China. Um, so yeah, she's apparently not entirely human. Um, so maybe she has some special abilities. You have no idea what they are as of this point. Um, but uh, but when Raina brings this up with. Uh, with Ward, um, she doesn't want Garrett to know about what she's, uh, what her concerns are, and about anything involving uh, Sky, anything unusual involving Sky. And Ward goes along with this. When Garrett asks what did Reyna want, he lies to him. He says something completely different. Um, so I'm guessing there's a possibility that Ward is going to eventually come back over to the good side and be one of the good guys. But he's got a lot to make up for it. I mean, this isn't like Sky, uh, uh, you know, uh, giving a heads up to that hacker in, in Los Angeles or, or whatever. Um, or maybe it was, was it Phoenix, Arizona? Yeah, that's right. Um, and then they discover this and they take away a lot of her privileges and they put the bracelet on her. Well, what Ward's done, of course, is way more severe, especially since he was working with Garrett as part of Hydra and all that. I have no idea how he's going to get back into Coulson's good graces to allow him back in our team, but it seems like... Um, Ward isn't totally on board with, uh, with whatever Garrett's plan is, um, and so probably sometime around the second season he's going to come back over and, and be one of the good guys again. Like Spike. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but, um, yeah, so that's, uh, you know, they, they've got just one episode to wrap all this stuff up, and I don't know if Garrett's going to be around in the next season. But I'm betting at this point that Ward is. I figured they would both get killed, or at least locked away. Um, by the end of the season, but there's only one episode left. There's not a lot of time for that to happen. Um, so first of all, I don't know how Coulson and, and the gang are going to get away from uh, the, uh, the, um, the super soldiers, but of course once they do, they'll fly the jet out over the ocean, uh, pick up Fitz and Simmons, obviously. They're not going to let those two die, but it would be kind of cool if we did. It would be nice and shocking if they did. 
Um, and then they're going to go after Garrett and Ward. Um, and and who knows? I mean, I don't know exactly how that's going to uh, uh, how that's all going to be wrapped up. But I guess we'll see on Tuesday. Um, so yeah, those are my thoughts on the ragtag episode, second to last episode in the uh, season. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. And I'll be doing another video, of course, next week or sooner, possibly on the season finale. Um, I figure there w w won't be a lot of point in waiting around. I might as well do one right away. So I might. Uh, I want to watch it twice first, like I usually do. Um, but anyway, thank you very much for uh, watching. And please come on over to my Facebook page to comment if you've seen the episode as well. I want to share your thoughts and what have you. Um, so yeah, once again, thanks very much. Appreciate it. Later.